you guys. How you doing? Good. I'm good. I, I learned how to freeze my own ice this year. So I had a good year. My name's Jessica. My mom named me that because she wanted a name I could find on souvenir mugs. <laughs> but I mostly just find it tattooed on bald guys' necks. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little bit Mexican. Yeah, thanks. The most Mexican thing about me is that I worked at Panda Express. <laughs> Seriously Mexican, like some days I eat quesadillas, other days I just eat grilled cheese. Because <laughs> Mexican cheese has such an attitude. It's always like, K, so. <laughs> I, have a, I have a Spanish last name, it's Rosas. Uh, sometimes old white people pronounce it wrong, but I just let them know it's Rosas, as in osteoporosis. <laughs> This man that's obsessed with me, he just waits for me on the freeway exit with flowers and yells out my name. Roses, roses, roses. Like, dude, I'm not interested. I like eating foods that have faces on it because I get to decide how I eat its face. I bite the ears off chocolate bunnies and then I pop out its face, put it to the side, and I make it watch me eat the rest of its body. I like McDonald's pancakes because they feel like skin. <laughs> but I'm a good person, you know, I just want to help out. I want to go to the hospital, drop a McDonald's pancake on top of all the babies. They all get that skin to skin time. <laughs> That's how I get back. I was eating a string cheese and then I was like, oh man, it's just my finger, ugh. It's me. I think pickles are creepy because they just float around in jars. I never know what to do with them. Like, do I store them in the fridge or do I put them on the shelf next to the rest of my severed body parts? <laughs> just me. <laughs> I, uh, I was eating a cutie. You guys know cuties? Those little baby oranges. I was eating a cutie and I found a seed inside. I was like, who touched you? <laughs> kind of take it to plant parenthood. <laughs> All the cuties, they were little Me Too stickers now. <laughs> I stopped drinking milk, because the cows are no longer treated with our best. Cows not treated with RBST. The cows deserve to be treated with R-E-S-P-E-C-T. <laughs> so I drink almond milk. People are always like, almond milk, how do you milk an almond? And that's a stupid joke, you know, I'm not dumb. I know how almond milk is made. But think about all those cows that have to get smushed in a blender to make regular milk. <laughs> I know that people don't like to be objectified, but I wonder if objects hate being personified. Because <laughs> so I draw little mustard faces on all my hamburgers before I eat them, because it makes me happy. But the hamburger patty is probably like, no, stop it, I'm not a person, I'm a piece of meat. <laughs> the most passive aggressive object that I own is my shampoo bottle. It's always like, made for your dry, frizzy, unmanageable hair. <laughs> I'm like, calm down, I got you. <laughs> I, uh, I've been working on doing uh, positive affirmations. It's where you say positive things that you want to happen in your life. They're not true. <laughs> but you have to say them out loud in the present tense so that they will come true. And I just feel like I'm being sarcastic all the time. <laughs> like people come up to me, they're like, Jessica, how are you? And I'm like, the light within me is creating miracles in my life. <laughs> They say, I read online that eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So if that's true, then my left eyebrow is my sister Rachel and my right eyebrow is me because I look at it in the mirror and I'm like, why are you like this? <laughs> I want to be an extrovert when I grow up. They make it look easy. I always tell my boyfriend, I'm like, stop embarrassing me in front of my friends. 
He's like, there's nobody here. <laughs> I'm really bad at like group conversations. I can't find my window to jump in and say my thing, so I'll just whisper it to the person next to me, and then they'll say it louder and they take all the credit. <laughs> so I'll be like, that's what she said, and they're like, that's what she said. And I'm like, no, that's what me said. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a social butterfly, like I'm not even a caterpillar, I'm, I'm just a worm. Like my arm could get cut off and I'm going to force myself to regenerate instead of calling 911 just because I don't like making phone calls. <laughs> I, I heard that you're supposed to apply sunscreen religiously, so I only wear it once a year when I have a near-death experience. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm scared all the time, and uh, it's because I was raised Catholic. It's a very scary religion. If you don't know about it, it's this whole religion. It's based on this big murder. And they're like, we eat skin, we drink blood, ah! Because he told us to. Catholicism is the only religion that makes its own scary movies. <laughs> the Exorcist movies. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but only mousy little Catholic girls get possessed, so I've always been next. <laughs> and, I, and possession, it looks exhausting. You know, it's like twisting, flailing around, lifting stuff, throwing it across the room. And I'm lazy, so I'm trying to look on the bright side. Like, really, it'll just be great exercise for me. <laughs> My calories can burn in hell. <laughs> Emily Rose lost 66 pounds in six days on the 666 diet. <laughs> People are always in a hurry to like exercise the demons, but I'm like, let the demons exercise you. <laughs> That's it, that's the joke. <laughs> My dad likes that one. He laughs so hard his wallet starts crying. <laughs> I, uh, my dad, he recently lent me some money until I get back on my feet. <laughs> so I called him the other day. I was like, hey dad, I'm standing. He was like, oh cool, you're back on your feet. I can stop sending you money. I was like, no, I said I'm doing stand-up again. Can you send more money? <laughs> But it's okay, because my dad's a cop, so I've been defunding him for a few years now. <laughs> He's right here, actually. I, I hate when people ask me, what do you do for fun? Because nothing. <laughs> The only reason that I do anything is because I'm supposed to be doing something else. Like, you could come over to my house right now and I'd be like, oh, what, this life-size replica of J-Lo made of Cheez-Its? <laughs> I'm not an artist, I just have to do laundry. <laughs> this killer 10-minute comedy set? Not a comedian. Just been putting off doing my taxes for four years. <laughs> I, uh, I just heard about this new sport in Switzerland called Hobby Horse. It's where you ride around on like those sticks that have horse heads on top, and you just run around, jump over little obstacles, do tricks and stuff. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a sport I'd actually be pretty good at. Boyfriend's real supportive, helps me practice. I do a lot of Hobby Horse, reverse Hobby Horse. My, uh, my boyfriend recently told me that I sound like I can't sing. <laughs> and I was like, take it out of my mouth, it'll sound better. 